I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the International Space Station. Now, this isn't tricky, but it does have a lot of floating lines. So let's start off right here in the center and put a dot. And from that dot, we're going to draw a skinny rectangle. Now, because the space station is basically a big machine, most of these things are straight lines and symmetrical. Okay, over here on the right hand side, we're going to draw one, two straight lines, and then we're going to draw an oval inside. Going towards the right, we draw a straight line out and a straight line out, and on that end, we draw an oval. Come over on the left hand side, jump over, we're going to draw a straight line out, straight line down, and then a curve line, straight line over, connect. Come back to the curve line and let's complete another oval curve line and draw a straight line down the center. Come over again on the left, we're going to draw a triangle hooked on. We're going to come up and draw a curve line once and a box. One, two, three straight lines. And on top of that, another little curve line. Okay. Come down to the bottom and we're going to draw one, two, three straight lines. One, two, three straight lines. One, two, three straight lines. Right here in the center, we draw a straight line down, curve line, straight line up, connect, little curve line. Now we draw a straight diagonal out, straight line, straight diagonal up, connect, jump over, straight diagonal out, straight line, straight diagonal in, connect, one straight line, one straight line. Jump over and now draw one, jump over, straight line up, jump over, straight line down, straight line over, up, jump over, straight line over, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect. Let's extend this line out straight line down, connect. Now we're ready to do our big panels, okay? We're going to put a straight line and a straight line on the right. Jump over, we're going to put a straight line and a straight line on the left. Come back over here and we're going to draw a straight diagonal, straight line, straight diagonal, straight line, connect. Draw two more little straight lines. Draw a straight diagonal, straight line, straight diagonal down, straight line, connect. Now come over to the left hand side. We're going to do it again. Straight diagonal up, straight line, straight diagonal down, straight line, connect. Two straight lines, straight line, straight diagonal down, straight line, straight diagonal up, connect. Okay. Now we go back over to the right and going up, we're going to put straight line up, straight line over, straight line down. Bam! You crash into this, don't draw through it. Right next to it though, we're going to start our next straight line up, straight line over, straight line down, bam, it crashes into that. Don't draw through your drawing. We have two more to do. Straight line, straight line all the way down, over, connect, draw another straight line down, over, up, and connect. Just put a little straight line connect there. Now, 
underneath, draw a straight line on our diagonals. Come over to this one and we're just going to draw a straight line out and a straight line down. And now we do straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect. Right next to that one, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect. Come over to the far right, draw another straight line, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect. Right next to it, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect. Now we need to do the same thing on the left. So I'm going to start up on top. And I'm going to draw straight line down, crashes into that, just let it sit there. Straight line, straight line down, it crashes into that one, leave it alone. Right next to it, though, I'm going to draw another straight line, straight line, straight line down. Jump over, and we need to draw, let's bring this one out, so we'll draw a straight line out, straight line up. Straight line over, straight line down. It crashes into that, but you can jump over and continue it. One more straight line down, straight line over, straight line down. And it crashes into that one. Leave it alone. Now come back over to these panels. We're going to draw a straight line down and another straight line down. And now we're going to draw these panels again. So we'll draw a straight line across, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up. One more over here, straight line across, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect. Okay, most of you are going, what? I know. It's a lot of straight lines. And you're still not done because each one of the panels has more straight lines. So let's do our first main part. And we're just going to draw three diagonals on these little shorty guys on the left and on the right. Now the good thing is everything is symmetrical. So whatever you do on the left, you're going to do on the right. Now come down and do the ones below. Three straight lines. One, two, three. One, two, three. Jump over. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So those are pretty easy. Now though, you've got all these teeny tiny ones on these panels. So what I did first is I drew a straight line down all of them. Jump over if you crash into something. Keep going. Straight line all the way down. Once you've got your straight lines vertical, up and down, going down, now you cross them with little horizontal straight lines. Now again, because this is a machine, Everything should be nice and straight, but because I'm drawing it, it's a little curvy, a little bit off, and that's okay, because basically this was really intense to draw. Hopefully it won't be too bad to color. So you go all the way across with these little horizontal lines crossing your verticals. And because this is a symmetrical project, whatever we do on the right, we're going to do on the left. We are going to do the same thing now on the left hand side. Take your vertical lines first on the inside. Keep going. Do the ones on top. Now if it gets a little close, you're still okay. Don't flip out. Now do your little horizontals. Now again, like I said, it's symmetrical. So everything you do on the left, you're going to do on the right. And the good thing about this project is that you don't have too much to color. Okay? 
Lots to draw, not too much to color. Okay, let's see how we are going to color this in. I knew I would forget two lines. One, two, one, two. Straight diagonals. Now we can color. Okay, so I don't get mixed up <clears throat> because I am easily confused. These all I'm going to make gray. In between grays. This is that main section of the space station. I'm making all of this gray. And that's supposed to stand for metal. If you have silver, you can use silver, but I don't. So I'm using my gray. And that's this whole middle panel. All of this stuff, <clears throat> excuse me, should all be gray. And these little panel guys should also be gray. So these should all be gray. Okay? And then, you can come in and do all of these little itty bitty panels. These should all be gold or yellow orange or orangey orange. All these panels, I'm assuming, I could be wrong, but I'm assuming these pick up a lot of the energy flow that the space station has. So we're going to use orange all the way down, top and bottom, keep going, all the way across. And it's symmetrical, so whatever we do on the right, we're going to do on the left. Whatever we do on the top, we're going to do on the bottom. So bring it all the way down. And these are all orange. Then, because it's up in the air, or I should say it's up in the space, take your blue and go in between your panels before you start doing coloring all of the other section of the sky. This is important because then you can kind of see what you're doing. Bring it up, bring it down. Now, again, this is kind of scribble scrabble. But you can see that what I'm trying to do is fill in around my panels and my machinery so that I can see the actual space station. Once I have that done, then I can come in and just fill in my background loop-de-loop. -loop. Now, some of you might be able to Google this and see that there's, <clears throat> excuse me, cloud formations and things like that. You can do that also. And some of you might go, I don't want to do the sky at all because it messes up the actual drawing. So this is a choice. This is your choice. I put the sky in so you can kind of see the space station parts a little bit better. But maybe I'm wrong. You're the artist. You make a choice. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my International Space Station all colored in. And good luck on this one. Okay, bye-bye.